hope that young girls and young boys or any actually women and men that have been through what we're trying to talk about feel more heard and feel less alone and feel like someone is speaking for them. When you decided to create this show, what kind of was your thought process going in? You know, I wanted to make a show for and about empowered women and I wanted to do something and write something that, you know, had female characters who were super nuanced and who were broken and strong at the same time because that's the women that I that's what the women that I love are like and I wanted to see more of that on television. So obviously I've seen the show but tell uh, your new fans what the show like the premise is about. So the show is about Jules and Ophelia. Uh, Jules is a sexual assault survivor and Ophelia is a uh, computer hacking weed dealer who uh, through uh, crazy circumstances team up to fight injustice on their college campus and are avenging victims of sexual assault. How do you think this show is different than other shows that are on television right now? I mean, I, I think like the whole genre bending thing is what is so crazy about it because yeah, you have like these really like rom com -y scenes with Jules and I and then <laughs> but then it cuts to like Ophelia and, and Harris and like or Harris is doing something so absurd and and then all of a sudden they're like like really brutally like in some crazy fight scene, you know? And so I, I don't know like where else I'm seeing a ton of that, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy we have it, you know? When you signed on for this project, what about this show made you be like, yes, I want to play this character? Oh my gosh, the fact that you can't define it in a sentence, that it is a mashup of so many genres, that it's a female empowering story of friendship, of, a, of women superheroes on campus, like when does that ever cross your path? Yeah. Um, and then I've never seen this television on show before. I've, I've never watched a television show like this. And, um, and it's also got a real message and we're talking about a real conversation and we're on MTV where we're, it's exactly the demographic that we're trying to talk to. And all of those things were so exciting. How did you balance that delicate line between comedy and also touching on these heavy topics? You know, I think that's life. I think that life is just as light as it is dark. And when we are in the sexual assault storyline and when we were talking about Jules as a survivor or any survivor, that is very serious. But life is so many different things and humor is a coping mechanism and we wanted it to feel as rich as life feels. I love the fact that the show is about women supporting women. And despite being very different women, and, and men, you know, it's, it's about people supporting people despite their diverse backgrounds and um, that's something that I was really proud to be a part of. Okay, so I just watched the first three episodes, they're up on MTV yeah. right now. Um, for me, it's like, it's the two friends, it's this like unlikely friendship yeah. and you care about them, you care about them like fighting for what's right, you know? And it's like, I don't know why, like I was behind the scenes. I was like, you know, saw all the fake stuff right. going on, right. and then I watched the show, and I really do care about these two girls, Jules and Ophelia, like, fighting back. Well, and it happens so fast, like, you become so yeah. connected to these characters, yeah. like, you've been watching the show forever, so I think a lot of fans are really going to connect with that. Yeah. The more episodes we watch, you're so layered, and I think that's what I love about all the characters in the show. Everybody has different levels, and you can't judge them on the surface. Why do you like tapping into this character? Are you, do you find any similarities to Ophelia at all? Yeah, I think uh, uh, most people are have crazy layers yeah. that come out eventually, but especially someone who is a depressive and, uh, you know, uh, very insecure yeah. and, and all of those things. That it, uh, especially when you have such a brash outer personality, you assume that that exactly. is, is in equal parts your inner personality, but that's not Ophelia at all. Do you find any similarities between Jules and yourself? Um, she's a lot more wholesome than, wholesome than I am. Maybe because I'm English. Yeah. Um, she's a lot less sarcastic. I think a lot of uh, Ophelia's sarcasm like rolls right off Julia's back. Whereas I'm English so I grew up with that culture. Yeah. But I, I really relate to her decision making. I relate to her frustration with like injustice and when I read the scripts like I am on her journey. It doesn't take much for me to understand why she is where she is. Right. Um, and it was, yeah, it was, Jules is an incredible human being. Your character, there's something, um, you have like these nuances about you where you're innocent, naive, but like that dynamic between you and your stepbrother, like you really care. Yeah. Are we going to see a deeper level to Tyler as we go on? I mean, I think so, yeah. He's, uh... I think he tries to hide it sometimes, but he's definitely an emotional guy and, and vulnerable as well. And yeah, I mean, even though he doesn't come close to approving of his stepbrother's actions, it's like, you know, they shared a lot together. You know, they grew up together in kind of a broken family. And so it's like, 
he's going to be trying to find him and you know at least help him on a path that's better than you know a life that doesn't work right. you know or something so the amount of girls that go into college and are taken advantage of and also just like trying to get under the skin of like the type of person who does this which is you know all of us we yeah. all have the potential to do this stuff yeah. it takes like it's the choice it's the decision not to you know what i mean the biggest thing I would say is that um, if you're a survivor of sexual assault, you're not alone. We're here, we support you, and, and you're brave, and we think you're wonderful. We're obviously hand handling some, like, you know, timely subjects and things like that. And, but at the end of the day, it's just like, we just want people to watch the show and, like, yeah, fall in love with these characters and, and care about them and, like, want to see what the journey is that they're going to go on. Yeah. yeah and the, the funny thing about this show, without getting too political, is yeah. some of the topics you're talking about are exactly what we're talking about yeah. on mainstream news yeah. right now. So I think this show is going to be a hit, not only because of that, but especially because it ties into yeah. what's current right now. Yeah. You know, if we can make even one person feel less alone from watching this show and seeing a little bit of themselves in these characters, then we've done our job. I hope that we're able to be a part of this incredibly important conversation, and I hope that we are taking this topic off the taboo table. And I hope that young girls and young boys, or any, actually, women and men that have been through what we're trying to talk about feel more heard and feel less alone and feel like someone is speaking for them. Yeah. More than anything, I think... I think that people are going to come away from this, you know, with more love for other people. Click left to watch Clever's interview with Tyler Posey and click right to watch our interview with Holland Roden on the Teen Wolf Red Carpet.